Welcome to Lone Tar YouTube videos. This video is going to demonstrate how to set up an SSH server backup to our GOSH data center. The first thing we always got to do is we got to generate the key keys to uh, make it so that the backup doesn't prompt you for a password every five or so seconds to make it almost impossible to do a full backup. So the first thing we're going to do is run this command. Now LoneTar uses the DSA keys for SSH, not the RS not the RSA keys. And you can just press enter, that's fine. And if you already have one, I'd feel free to overwrite. And for a passphrase, I just press enter. Now that my key is generated, now I want to upload it to GOSH using the SCP command. Now squiggly means roots home directory, so in other words saying slash root. So I'm just going to use the squiggly. And always use, uh, next is going to be your gosh username, which is mine is 4979 at secure.gosh.com. And so ask for your password. and it's uploaded. Now if I'm going too fast you can always pause the video or rewind to see the command that I typed in and you can match it to match what you need like mainly the username is going to be different in this case. So now that we got our key generated we're ready to take the next step. So let's go into LT menu, do option 9 for device manager and we're going to add a device and we're going to do number 8, SSH server. And the alias, I'm going to call it gosh SSH. You can call it whatever you'd like. The IP address or host name is going to be secure.gosh.com. Block factor is going to be 3 for 120. Now the capacity for SCO, you want to set it to 2 gig. It'll use the cascade option, so if you're backing up 10 gigs total, you'll have 5 2 gigabyte chunks. For Linux, there's no limitation, so you can do whatever you've purchased. Uh, I purchased an 80 gig slot, so I'm going to use option L for 80. I'm not going to use any compression because I want my, com my backups to be the fastest. Uh, for the rotation, you can keep up to one type of file, one master. Or you can do a week's worth of masters or a month's worth of masters. I'm going to do weekly, always a minimum weekly, so you can keep up to seven files. In case one day, you know, if you do a backup on Monday, a master on Monday, and then Tuesday's masters fails, if you're doing daily rotation, you've lost your Monday's masters backup. So always minimum do weekly. I'm going to do weekly. And for the directory, always when doing SSH, just do a dot when you're backing up to our GOSH data center. Username 4979 and make sure this is accurate because once you do this with SSH since it generates a key pair based on all of this information you cannot change your username later. Now this is totally normal it looks like a whole bunch of gibberish what it's doing is it's generating the SSH authorization keys based on your username so you can press enter and we're good to go. It's going to ask you now if you want to make this a default device. Answer yes if you're going to use this for crash recovery purposes. Answer no if you're just going to use it to back up select data or to have certain data off site that you, and you're doing local backups with, to a tape or a USB drive some other way. But if you're using this for crash recovery, answer yes. Now always what I like to do after I add a device is I like to test it. So I'm going to do option 3 for selective backup. Select files to backup and I'm just going to back up the user loan tar directory. So dot slash user slash loan dash tar. 
and I look at my information, it's going to the gosh SSH, which is what I just added, so that looks good. And we're going to continue with the backup. This is why we do the dot when we, what directory we're going to back up to. If you don't use a dot when you're backing up via SSH, you'll never be able to access it with the verify or do it during a restore. And the backup is complete. The only thing I like to do next is I like to do a test restore. And to do so, you go to the restore menu, select files to restore, and I'm going to type in dot slash user slash loan dash card. And I want to restore the whole directory, so I'm going to do a trailing slash at the end. Look at my device, looks good. If I want to exclude, no. Now you know it's going to work if it says available files to work with and you see the available files. And there's my file, s-backup-fry.ltar. So I'm going to type in, the, as, I, as I see it, And we're done. It's complete. Now you can successfully do backups to GOSH using SSH. You can do incremental, selectives, masters, and from cron, anything. Now that we've tested the backup and the restore process, you're good to go.